This is a 2019 Galleon 425 HTS and we're here at East Cowes Marina on the Isle of Wight to show you this fantastic boat. Galleon have been around in the UK now for a number of years and they really hit the market hard. Now it's not a Princess, a Sunseeker or a Fairline, so Galleon had to be different. So they've introduced an awful lot of big boat features in a reasonable boat size and with fantastic design qualities, amazing cockpit space. There's two seating areas in this cockpit and it can be split as you can see here, door. Um, it also has a full width mid cabin as well as a forward cabin and a downstairs galley area with seating as well. Um, there's loads of other features on this so we're going to do the full walkthrough tour right here right now so stay tuned and please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Before you get started, check out our Parker Adams Superstore with loads of main brands for upgrading your boat, such as Raymarine, Garmin and Fusion. Check it out after this video. I'm Jonathan Parker from Parker Adams Boat Sales, um, but we're here on the Isle of Wight and we do have a team over here that sells boats on our behalf, um, and that is Mark and Jasper, um, and they will deal with any boats on the Isle of Wight for us, um, but we'll st still come and do the walkthrough tours as you can see here. Um, so please, if you're interested in anything on the Isle of Wight, you want to sell your boat on the Isle of Wight, do get in touch with us and we'll get you in touch with Mark or Jasper over here. Um, but what I want to do is just show you this galleon and show you the differences this has to other boats. Now it's a 425, it's actually 44 foot overall. Um, but as you can see, as we come along the front, it looks pretty normal. So it's white GRP, nice windows on the side as you would normally expect of a modern boat now. Um, I do like it's got real teak on the side decks all the way around, a big, large sunbathing area on the front. Um, it has a sunbathing pad, a very large area indeed. Um, nice stanchions all the way around and grab rails, as you would expect. Um, this is a hard top, hence the name HTS for hard top. And you can see a huge windscreen. But as you now come down, you start to see the differences that you wouldn't normally see in other boats. And it's this huge expanse of glass. Um, it has two electric windows, one either side. This one's dropped down and an electric opening roof as well, which is open at the moment. And as you come down, you really start to see the design cues, which make the galleon stand out over other boats. You can always spot one because it, it, the design is distinctive. And if you like distinctive, then this is the boat for you. As you come down, um, we can go onto the hydraulic bathing platform. There's a Sea-Doo Spark on the back here, and this drops down into the water and floats the jet ski off but this also has a garage as well. So it has the best of both worlds. Um, the garage lifts up. We can't lift it at the moment because of the CD spark. We'd have to launch the spark off to open it. So we're not gonna do that for you today, but um, the platform does give you this extension as well, where it's very easy to access the boat on and off. And then we can come up the side decks, which again are teaked into the first social area and this is a very adaptable area as well um, you can see we've actually got it opened up um, but you can close off this whole area which i'll show you in a minute um, but um, you, it, it, it lends itself to this nice outside covered in shelter um, beautiful vista overlooking the water um, of course you've got this large table as well and um, you've got seating for plenty actually. You can get three along here and I reckon four or five along this way as well. And this can actually be adapted as well into um, a reverse seat. So it will, I don't know if I can do that. I haven't actually tried yet. But this adapts so you can make this into a full lounger as well very easily. Um, but we'll show you that, we'll show you that um, conversion in a sec. Um, but what I want to do is get through the boat and we'll overlay it laid out. You don't have to wait for me to set that up. Um, but again, lots of seating. Um, and then very cleverly, they've got this um, hard top boat, which you completely enclose. So the next cockpit area, you can shut this off like that. And it has a door as well, which closes the whole area off. Um, so now you have a very easily accessible, protected area for when it's colder in winter or at night, gives you the privacy you would want. 
And now we're into the inside cockpit area where there's another seating area, another socializing area, dinner table and such like. And this doubles as a wet bar as well. So this isn't the main galley area, even though there's a fridge in here, there's storage. You can lift this up, there's a hot and cold sink and a grill. So this boat also has a generator as well, so we can run the grill when on anchor. We can open this all up so we can have the feel of being outside or we can close it when we're inside. It's such an adaptable boat. Um, I really like the design in here as well. Um, I love the lighting on the ceiling. And the headlinings are a lovely dark color as well. And I love the lighting. There's lights all the way along and we've got these lovely strip lights as well. Um, and the finishes are nice as well. Everything is covered or it's got some styling cues to it. So there's a lot of thought gone into the design of this. It's obviously been designed by a proper designer and not just a boat builder going, that, put that there, put that there, that would be great. It's actually being designed purposefully to be stylish. Um, there's actually a TV point up here. If you wanted a television out in this area, there's a plug and an aerial plug in as well. So you could mount one on here or just have a freestanding one that you can plug in. Um, but as you go through, you can still see it's um, still got teak flooring. And then we're to the helm position. Now the helm position, this seat simply does that. Um, and it's a large bolster as well, so you can stand if you wish or sit down. And it is actually enough for three along here if you wanted. And then arm down the end like this. And, um, and we're into this really nice, and this is probably one of the best visibility hard top sports boats that I've been on because I'm literally surrounded in glass. There's very little pillars that actually get in your way from visibility. And we've got these two large windows, as I said, and you can almost climb out of here, but you can actually properly lean out. You can see down the side. You can just step across there and look out that way if you wanted to. Everyone can hear what you're saying. So you put another problem with hard top sports boats. If you're asking somebody to do something on the side decks, they can't hear you very clearly. But with this, they can't, they can't miss you. And uh, it's very, very sensibly designed. Um, the helm position as well is quite nicely laid out. Um, we've got the normal instrumentation, which I like. Quite often the instrumentation on modern boats is taken away completely and just used through the nav equipment. But I do like the, the reliability and also the backup of having the original instrumentation. But you can also have it on the Raymarine system. Um, we've got an autopilot as well. There's actually room here to fit a second chart plotter if you wish. You could have a dual chart plotter system as well. Um, but it's been obviously spec'd for the um, autopilot and the Raymarine there. This also has um, bow thruster, but it does benefit from the Volvo Penta IPS 500 engines. They're 370 horsepower engines each. They should push this boat to around 32 knots um, with a clean bottom. We're gonna go out and do drone footage of this boat in a sec. And as you can see here, in this sunshine on this lovely day, it looks absolutely beautiful out on the water. Um, there'll be a separate full drone video of this boat as well. So, so really uh, subscribe to our channel and you'll see that and you'll see all the other videos we have as well. Um, but the IPS 500 give you the joystick control as well as your normal twin engine controls as well. And the joystick control is fantastic for maneuvering. Um, it's very easy to use and very easy to maneuver the boat. And we're gonna take it out soon. So I'll report back how that is. Um, normal instrumentation, you've got cars and switches all the way along here to operate various things and a little rudder, rudder indicator here, which I quite like. They've actually mounted it in its own little design, sort of, they, they've thought about, well, we're going to put it there, let's design this. And I really like that, rather than just it being sort of flush fitted somewhere, they've really moulded this specifically to hold it. Um, it's quite clever. This also has um, zip weight trim tabs. They're a very efficient way of um, keeping the boat level and adjusting the position of the boat on the plane when you're on the water. Helps you get up on the plane, it helps steady the boat, it helps you through rough seas, as trim tabs normally do, but they're very reactional and they're automatic as well. So they will, once they're set, they will keep the boat in the position you want it to be all the time. A very, very efficient and clever system. Um, so with all of this equipment, um, you're kind of fully loaded here really. Um, and um, um, it also has the Raymarine VHF down here as well. Right, let's um, carry on, because it's such a lot to see. And um, I like the fact that all the dash is dark. 
Um, quite often on a hard top bar, if you've got any light bits, um, it will reflect in the screen, but not with this. And if you look right to the very end, you can see there's some demisters as well. Love, and one of the, probably, probably one of the largest wipers I've seen as well. Look how long they are. They must be nearly a metre long, those wiper blades. They're uh, fantastic. And, uh, th and stainless steel um, arms as well. Um, and we're going to actually come down now. You can see we have a transition from the feel of being outside with the teak now into the cosiness and the depths of the boat. And you step down these nice, quite large steps into the main galley area now. Um, we've got an induction hob here. Um, there's a second larger fridge with a freezer compartment and then we have storage. So we have storage in here, quite like, took me a while to figure this out. It's not two doors, it's one, like that. And these just keep some bits and pieces in there. And we've got a one and a half size sink and with hot and cold. And then we just have storage. Um, in here's a microwave. And then we have storage in these second two cupboards. Um, cutlery and everything's left on the two shelves in there. So we have a microwave as well as an induction hob. Not forgetting all this can be work when you're not on shore power because you have the generator as well. Um, there's a monitoring system for the generator here. Um, and then we have a digital display that we can look at the Webasto here as well. So as Webasto diesel heating and then a fusion head unit and just a little USB input there. Um, in behind here though, if you want to pop down, is the main electrical panel. And I do like, look at the glass, look at the window. There is a blind that comes down as well, but I just like the fact that, you know, this is all, this is all, how does that work? Oh, okay, I just wasn't pulling it hard enough. Um, and you can see the instrument panel is very nice. I like the fact it's got galleon lit up. Um, and we have the main battery switches here. So these are just small electrical switches that operate the, the high, load ones in the engine room, but very easy to operate it all from here. There's a little monitor that tells you the voltage, and then we've got all your switches for all your equipment. Um, very, very easy to get at and easy to use when you learn how to open the door properly. <laughs> right, let's shoot through. And then we're down into this third seating area. And bear in mind this is 44 foot, and we've got into now a third seating area. Um, I like the diamond stitch on this, so it's a, it's a leather feel here, so very, very luxurious feel down here. And again, we've got this fantastic window. So if we are, if we had a, not so much a yacht view, but a water view, it would just have this lovely glistening of the water coming in, which it's starting to as well. And nice lighting again. And you can see the headlinings now have gone from a dark color to a light color. So again, the design cues in here, bringing light into this area because we are slightly down below. Um, but as you can see, it's a just still a nice light area. I love the wall linings. I love this transition from almost like a fabric feel into a, into a wooden feel. It's just a very beautiful way. And we've got a proper television down here. So I think, oh, well, there wasn't one upstairs. There is one down here. And in fact, with all the light up there, TV is quite hard to see. You'd want to be down here watching TV of an evening. And, um, and you can see they've even designed a frame around this Samsung television. And again, very, very beautiful in its design. And the storage cupboards as well. Just gonna have a peek at how much stuff they've got on this. Glasses in that one. They're fairly deep, actually. They're a lot deeper than I thought. They're about seven, eight inches deep, which is quite nice. Um, and we have the table as well, which does open up and twist, so you can make it into a larger dining or breakfast table in the mornings or the evenings as well. Shall we shoot through to this front cabin? Now this is one of two cabins, please bear in mind. So this is the smaller of the two, um, and it has a double bed, but you can see it's slightly offset. So you may remember this sort of design in, um, in the Targa 34s, some of the earlier sort of 34 footers, um, and they did up this offset bed design. Um, it still provides good leg room, on that side, um, a little bit less on this side, but still a very comfortable place to be, as you can see. And we've got the fantastic um, roof, which opens up. So the blind opens up fully. You can see it just floods this room with light. And let me close it back off for you. And as you then enclose, close up the uh, blinds, 
and you've still got this lovely lighting in here as well. So it flows all the way through and then through into um, these areas where you have storage that folds down. So quite often the storage is high up, but on here it's, it's quite low down. And there's some plugs here. There's a USB, which is handy. And then you've got your light switches so you can turn your lights on and off when you're in bed. There's a second blind across here as well and emergency access um, exit up above your head. And then as you come around, you've got a nice surface to put bits on. There's again, there's more storage as you come around. And there's also a, another Webasto control unit in the front bedroom here. Um, and again, there's a plug with a USB, uh, more storage here. And then you've got a large wardrobe, which is quite a lot of stuff in there at the moment. Um, but it is a full size wardrobe and it's lit as well, which is nice. Carpet in here, as opposed to the wooden floor, just gives you that bit more cozy feel. Um, and we have access to the first um, day heads here. So electric flush toilet. Again, nice design, still got that LED light. I do like those LED lights, big mirror on the wall. And I do like the freestanding sinks to just give you that really quality element. And there's a shower in here as well. Um, did you spot the shower? So if you just share the stainless steel shower, so there's a nice design stainless steel shower there. And so it does give you that shower option. Um, but the Galleon 45 does have a nice trick up its sleeve with the main cabin. And what I really like, actually, let me get out of the way, as you come into this full width, king-sized bed on this 44-foot boat, look at the design of that head. I love that, that headboard looks amazing. And then all this design cues come into here as well with the wall linings, the strip lights, and you've got these large now windows either side. So the window, and they get bigger as well. It seems to be the, the further we get into the boat, the bigger the windows get. Um, so they are absolutely beautiful to wake up in the morning to a water view. Um, bed's a nice size. Um, I'm just gonna lay down on the bed. And you can see, and you can see it is a king size, really nice size, loads of storage though. Look, as you look around, there is, hang on, I'm gonna, I haven't opened all of this, but there's drawers, there's a vanity with a mirror, and then there's, there's more storage. There's a big wardrobe in here, which is lit. Um, nice little bedside tables as well. And again, we've got USB and power, and again, another Webasto control unit as well which is lovely. And um, you can control your lights from here as well. And you can see all the storage down the other side as well. Let me just see if there's anything interesting. Sometimes there's, there's a little something hidden away, a little gym. Uh, well, it's shelving in here and there's nothing much else. I think it's just good storage, good deep storage again. Um, and in the end, yeah, good, just deep storage. There does seem to be a lot of storage on this boat as well. Um, again, another PowerPoint, a nice little reading lights, I like them. And if you don't want the light on, on there, you can turn that off for it, very nice. And you can turn them off, in fact, from here as well. So now I can go to bed. But I won't, because we've just got a few other bits to do. Let's, we come out of here, and you can see a full width mid cabin. There is a stooping involved, but it does raise up on this side, actually, to four head height is about four or five inches above my head round here, but you can see how they've got this full width mid cabin in with headroom as well. A um, bit more stooping on that side, but it's still a fantastic space. And what you're gonna do in it, you're gonna be sleeping. Um, in here, we've got the ensuite to the main cabin. I'm just gonna come and stand in here because I wanna show you the shower room. Now it's got a, it's got a toilet heads in the shower room. Um, which is okay, and you can get it very wet. There's, it's, um, it's got waterproof switches, of course. Electric flush again. Um, there is storage again in the shower room. Again, the light in here as well, but I've got this fantastic monsoon shower. I love monsoon showers on boats. And we do have the backup of the wand as well for different places. And, um, and then obviously controlled by here. Um, so very nicely laid out. And of course you can shut it off with this door um, away from the sink, freestanding sink again. And I'm guessing no storage in that this time. Um, there's a power point under there, but storage underneath. And again, a nice blind and a big window as well. 
actually two blinds. This is all glass. Sorry, <laughs> go ahead of me. Right, let's come out. Um, now though, I don't know if you notice, table's out. Thank you. So the table is now out, so that now is a larger dining table. And it simply just folds and twists. It's very easy to do. Let's pop back up because as if by magic, now we have the sun lounger made up at the back. And this simply slides out and then this drops in the middle. So it actually makes this much larger and this hangs over the bathing platform slightly. So now, if we had the sun up, I'm actually in the sunshine at this end because the, the hangover ends about here. So I could be, and in fact, my head's in the sunshine, so I'm getting a little bit of colour on the face. So very nice too. Um, but it quite simply goes back just by pulling on this and then it comes back up like that. And then we're back into seating mode. Very simple, very easy to do. Right, I think we're pretty much done. So let me take a seat. Um, I would show you engine access. Um, there is full access through the garage. There's a small access hatch in the there, but it's very tight. You can get in there. I did actually check the levels. I checked the coolant. We're gonna take this out for a drone video. So every time I do, I do like to check around the engine bay. Um, there is access to the port engines very easily. Starboard's a bit more challenging, but you can get around the front of the engines to it. So I did check the levels, the coolant levels on that side as well. Um, so you can get down there and do it, but it is a little bit challenging, not very good with a GoPro down there at the moment. But the full access is through the garage. And um, of course, we've not been able to show you the garage because the um, jet ski on the back, which is unfortunate because I'd like to have shown you that, but it has the garage as well. So very versatile, very well designed, beautiful, light, airy, lots of windows, brilliant boat. Um, but as you can see on this drone video, um, it's a fantastic boat out on the water, which we're gonna go and do right now. So I'm not gonna waste any more time. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Come and see us at parker-adams.co.uk if you'll know how much this boat is. Subscribe to our channel and come and see our YouTube channel once you've subscribed to about over 200 videos we've now done on all sorts of boats. And remember, if you've got a boat on the Isle of Wight and you wanna buy or sell, um, come and see us and we'll get you in touch with Mark and Jasper from our Isle of Wight franchise over here. So stay tuned and see you on the next video. Thank you.